we find primarily is that the acoustic issue is something that's generally not talked about. And if there isn't the knowledge there, it becomes almost impossible to get right early on. At Echophone, we knew a lot about physical measurements and what might happen when a sound wave hits that particular piece of material. What we didn't fully understand, and, and this was really the basis of the literature review, is what actually happens when that sound wave hits our ear and then is interpreted. So the body interprets and reacts psychologically and physiologically. So this is psychoacoustic. What the research shows is that if you account for all the physical elements, that only accounts for about 25% of the impact of acoustics or sound, let's say, or noise. And the reason it's important is because that noise is probably, or most possibly, the biggest cause of distraction and, and uh, negative performance in the workplace. We're exploring the heart of uh, how sounds and noise affect the health the well-being and ultimately the performance of individuals. But also, we can then show the implications on, on the bottom line for, for an organization. Our designers should be interested, interior designers and architects, because I think it's their responsibility to create environments that people can work in. And obviously owners of businesses should be interested, uh, the, the occupier, because if their people aren't working, aren't being productive, they're not gonna have a business further down the line. The better we can understand the individual and take a human approach from that perspective, the better environment we create. And we also create environments that, that really are fit for purpose because it's, it's, it's based on, a, on an individual or on the human being and then it's giving them exactly what they need in order to do their best.